Hey everybody, I meant to release this video review of the Creality uh, Resin 3D printer, uh, the LD002R I believe it is. I meant to do it a lot earlier, but due to a storm we had here where I lost power for a full week, uh, it interrupted my testing, it didn't, I couldn't film anything, blah, blah, blah. So here I am. And as always, I do the short review first and then the longer review comes later. Although today it might be a short review and, a, and another short review because the printer is excellent. Uh, it's, it's really well thought out for a budget printer, you know, with the lift off plastic cover. So we know everything cheaper than like the EPAX has the, the plastic lift off covers. Um, you know, it's, it's the budget printer under $300 gang. Mars, uh, Photon, Sonic Mini, and, and now this Creality. So I want to say, I won't have one to run out and buy it because it's late to the party. We know the monoscreen printers are right around the corner here, and we're all going to be buying monoscreens probably. But if you're in the market for a printer right now and you don't want to wait that few months for the monoscreens that are coming, or the Epax XK1, which, X1K, which is already here, or the Saturn, which is dropping like any day now, if you want one of the old school printers because you're in a rush, this Creality, well, I shouldn't say it surprised me because Creality is a good enough company and a big enough company that they should put out a good printer. But what they did here, I think they covered their bases. They didn't make mistakes. Um, the machine is very well constructed for a budget printer. It feels solid, heavy. Uh, the, the USB port is very conveniently located in the side, so it's in the, in the side front, not the side back. Uh, it came pre-leveled from the factory, which I didn't know. I thought you had to level it, but and maybe it was coincidence. Mine was leveled perfectly. I actually tested for it, and then it came perfectly leveled, although I don't see them advertising that. It has a built-in filter, and, and you know I really couldn't smell my resin coming out of there compared to my other printer, so I, I think as far as I can tell, the built-in filter works. They have a very stable Z-Rod, as you would expect, you know, given that they're making it in the last generation of these budget uh, regular LCD printers. So it's not so much, it's interesting, this review for me is not so much about this machine, because like I said, it's part of a dying generation of technology. But like I said, if you need one right now, this is actually, if you can get this cheaper than any of the other competitors, because they all print about the same, but this, this has a lot of bells and whistles for a budget 3D printer. So if you can get it at a good price, I actually would recommend you get this one now if you're saying, I need to get a printer now, I'm not waiting a month or two or whatever it is to get a mono screen. But more importantly for me, I think, this actually gives me hope for Creality's next generation because this machine, they, I think they did so right for a budget printer that gives me hope that when they come out with their mono screen, maybe it'll actually be competitive in the resin printing world. You know, they're dominating the the FDM world, but they were never able to make the splash in resin. And well, splashing resin's a bad thing. But anyway, you, you guys know what I mean. They didn't hit that the resin market. You know, it's almost like they got blindsided by any cubic and never recovered. And then Elegoo came out of nowhere and and took market share that they didn't get. And then you know Frozen did too. And I was thinking the whole time, where is Creality? Like they're dominating FDM. Why aren't they, you know, doing something good in resin? They should have the resources to do it. And then this machine comes out, and it's an excellent machine. Like I said, they, for a budget printer, I feel like they thought of everything they could think of, and they just put out a really excellent budget printer. Now again, it's the dying technology, so I'm not. I can't get overly hyped about it. But like I said, if they just take this machine and basically slap a mono screen in and make the price competitive with what uh, any cubic and Elegoo are doing, I don't see why, you know, Creality can't capture a large market share on this next go round uh, with their resin printer. I think jumping in now that the technology is switching, it gives them a chance to come in and really compete. So I was excited to see how good this machine really was. Uh, even, like I said, even with dying technology, it's still a great machine. So they just, like I said, take this machine, put it in the mono screen, and they're competitive. So I think the only thing that is gonna dictate how they compete in that next generation is how quickly they also come out with a bigger printer because already you know, we know the Saturn is, is around the corner and Anycubic has announced, I can't remember the name of theirs, but they're coming out with a larger format printer also for, with the mono screen. So it's gonna be on Creality to come out with a, uh, this, a small mono screen quickly and then also a larger mono screen also quickly. And of course, 
you know, compete on price. So my review, I know I'm not talking about this machine that much, because like I said, what can I say? Of those budget printers, of the budget printers I have now, the under 300 crowd, I actually like this one the best already, just after testing it for two weeks. Like I said, just, they actually paid attention to what they're doing, and they, it looks like they did everything right. Uh, it's just a good machine. But that's it, you know, that's really it for my review. There's not that much to say. Like you're gonna see the prints. I've, you know, I'm gonna have some high res photos. I didn't even have to test that many prints, really, you know, for this because with this technology, you know what the limits are. Like if you have a really stable Z rod and you have a good light source, you're gonna get about the same prints on all these machines these days, right? And so aside from the extra bells and whistles, like having the, the built-in charcoal filter. Uh, coming leveled from the factory, you know, very convenient USB port, solid build. It prints like the other ones. But like I said, if you're, if you're getting, if you, someone said to me, all out of the blue, I'm getting a, a, a resin printer tomorrow. I can't wait for a couple months for the mono screens, whatever's coming. I can't wait for that to come out. I would tell them, you know, if you're under, like I always say, if you're over $300, you get the EPAX, right? The, oh, I and mean, the EPAX is just, it's, in, it's, it's a slightly different class than these uh, sub 300 but if you're sub 300, I now think this is the best sub 300 old technology printer that I have. So I, that's a, as glowing a review as I can give for a machine that, you know, in three, four months is going to be outdated, basically. So I guess just look at the price. If you can pick it up at a really good price and you're in the market for a, a good resin printer right now, then I do think it's a really good choice. Other than that, I, I would say, Creality, if you're watching my review, like hats off, you guys did a really good job on this machine. Make sure you do as good a job on the mono screen version. Better if you can somehow, if you can find some way to better it uh, and, and control price and get working on a large screen also. And you guys maybe can compete in this resin arena in this next generation. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Please like, please subscribe, please check my other videos. Um, that's it. I will see you again soon. I'm, I'm working on some more uh, tips and tricks for supports and also understanding your resin printer a little better so you can get better results. And got some resin reviews and other stuff coming up. So keep an eye on my channel. Oh, keep an eye. I'm working on my first Kickstarter finally. It is awesome. I have some incredible sculpts from some amazing sculptors. So uh, I'll link that down below. But please check it out. Everyone who likes my channel, please support me in this. Uh, you'll be supporting me, but also you're going to get an amazing game with some incredible, incredible miniatures. I'll have them floating in some bubbles in my head right now so you can see just a, a preview of what we got coming. Anyway, thanks again everyone. Happy 3D printing. So here's a gunslinger from the upcoming Kickstarter sculpted by Artisan Guild. And you can see the printer picked up. It is just crisp and clean, got every detail beautifully. Uh, and then another test print. Uh, the one on the right was done on this Creality. The one on the left was from the Epax X1K. And I shrunk the one on the right down so that people who play D&D, I want to see how it looked at that scale. You can see details came out nice. Printer got everything. It's just very solid printer. I really don't think you could go wrong with it right now. So that's it. Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing, everyone.